All right, let's do some inequalities. Now you know, every time we start a new topic, I must give you the rundown on the topic. What you need to know, all the secret tips, exact details of stuff that's important. But before we do that, Aha! No ashy fingers tonight. Hit you the pointers, the important stuff. I just have two, two pointers for you today. Pointer number one: treat the inequality sign just like an equal sign. So you don't need to worry too much about the inequalities. It just works like a normal equation. Let's check it out in an example. X plus three is greater than or equal to negative one. X. I think I'm using the wrong side of this. X will be greater than or equal to negative one. We want to bring across this tree to meet his friend. The tree comes across. You think of it as an equal sign. X is greater than or equal to negative four. Simple stuff, right? Well, there are actually exceptions. There are actually two things you need to worry about that will actually flip around the inequality sign when you are solving the in equation not equation when you are solving the in equation as you are coming down there's two things you can do I know people normally say one but there's actually two things you can do that will cause the inequation the inequality sign to flip around here are the exceptions exception number one multiplying or dividing dividing that word is dividing multiplying or dividing by a negative number right so if this happens sign switches two switching the LHS Switching the left hand side with the right hand side. If you swap wrong the left hand side and right hand side, the inequality sign flips. Now these things are not best seen by right, me writing it down. It's best seen in an example. So let's do two examples. This example pertains to number one. Negative three x is greater than nine. We need to bring across all numbers to one side. That's what we do. That's the life of algebra. So bring across the negative 3, it's being multiplied. We are multiplying it. Negative 3 multiplied by x. So we need to bring it across, it will change to divide. Or some people learn divide left hand side by negative 3, divide right hand side by negative 3 as well. Well, if you did this, this would be your mistake right here. Because anytime you divide by a negative number, the sign must switch. So instead of the sign facing this direction, because we divided by a negative number, it should face the other direction. If we multiply by a negative number, same thing. So the answer is going to be x is less than negative 3. 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So anytime you divide by or multiply, so anytime you divide or multiply by a negative number, remember to flip that sign. It's an easy mistake to forget, even top students do it. Let's look at the second exception. Here we have 5 is less than or equal to x plus 3. We want this 3 to come across here to bounce up with his friend the 5. Numbers belong on one side. So that's the x there. 5 take away 3 is 2. Now, students like their x to be on this side. Right? They like their x to be in the back. So, Oh, that's the front to the back. So anyhow, the x comes on this side, so you put x there, and you put a sign, and you put 2. What is the common mistake is to put back the same side. But notice how this larger side is facing x. We are actually saying here 2 is less than or equal to x. 
if we leave this sign like this it will say x is less than or equal to 2 so anytime you switch around the whole left hand side and the whole right hand side switching it around especially at the ending of the question when you do this remember to switch around the sign as well this is an easy way to lose one out of the two marks in this question all right so are we finished with inequalities there no we are not most of the times when you learn something in mathematics they want you to use it one more step the one more step they usually take you in an inequalities question is to express your answer on a number line primary school thing not really yeah? the number line primary school the inequalities not so much let's look at the answers we got from before x is greater than greater than or equal to 2 and x is less than negative 3 if we are to express this in a number line 0 1 2 negative 1 negative 2 since you have a greater than or equal to sign here you can do you can do it in two ways you draw a circle by the two and carry your arrow going that way since it must be greater than 2. Shade the circle since this is equal. As simple as that. In some cases, you may have to draw this actually on the number line. Right? In the second case, we had x is less than negative 3. 0, 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 3. 1, 2, Three. negative four all right this number line is not the best number line in the wheel but i just i think it could show the point so x is less than negative three draw a circle there since it must be less than we'll go in this direction so really and truly your number line should have go a little more this way to show show the relationship better a lot of times they give you the number line so you don't need to worry about which numbers you're using should we shade inside the circle no it's only less than it's not equal to all right so that's it for inequalities i won't leave you there in the next video i have pulled out four questions it's three or four out of the last five years the questions they brought on inequalities and we'll go through them really quickly all right so before you click off please press like Please press subscribe that really helps the reach of the video and I want to help as many students as possible so do the right thing and press like and subscribe if the video has helped you press like and subscribe if you haven't in the next video from the last six years I'll be doing past paper questions at least four of them so that you can see how inequalities are used in real life exam situations till next time